Hello Wastelanders, Moby is back again with a brand new weapon from Fallout New Austin for you. Today we are looking at the Lightning Weapon Platform, a plasma weapon developed in the Universe Labs. This plasma weapon is loosely based off of unused Fallout 3 concept art. The base variant of this weapon is a semi-auto pistol and at a workbench you can add a rifle barrel and a stock for greater stability and range. Currently, there is also a reflex sight that is a must-have for this weapon. There are no iron sights, so definitely get that. In the future, we'll be adding all the other typical sight attachments. With the changes we are bringing with Fallout New Austin, the Fallout 4 formula of just making the weapon stronger with its mods doesn't work for us. Due to this, adding these mods for this weapon is just a bit of extra work that we will need to do separately. Don't worry though, this will be a priority for a B team, and should be out in the first update to this mod. Now let's talk a bit about how this weapon works. As you can see, there is a ricochet mechanic with this weapon. Shoot bolts of light that split into several upon contact. Additionally, an electric hazard will be left behind where it initially strikes. These subsequent bolts have a very strong tendency to track to the closest target dealing a massive amount of damage, especially if you can get more than one of these bolts to hit them. This makes the best way to use this weapon being purposely trying to use the ricocheting bolts to deal some extra damage. This weapon does a decent amount of damage for the early to mid game of Fallout 4, and in New Austin this will be a weapon that you can carry from the beginning to the end. Future plans for this weapon include 4 additional barrels, two additional stocks, two new firing mechanics, and of course a ton of different paint jobs and other ways to customize your weapon. Hopefully this first release will be a tease of what is actually in store for the future. To get this weapon in game you can find it on gunners and in weapon shops. To download it for your game follow the links in the description to the Nexus along with the Fallout New Austin site. If you have enjoyed this mod make sure to endorse it on the Nexus for others to see as well as subscribing here for more mods and updates in the future. And before you go, if you just want to watch a little bit of gameplay with this weapon, keep watching the video and I will have a live video of that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Alrighty, now that we talked a bit about the weapon, I wanted to go ahead and kind of show off some live gameplay of us using it. So we can get a better idea of how this weapon actually works. Um, be mindful that this is very, very early on in the game. It's pretty much the beginning of the game. And this is a bit more of like a level 10 to 15 weapon. Whenever you start getting a plasma rifle or plasma pistol weapons. So just keep that in mind. And yeah, let's go ahead and see what we can do. I'm going to go ahead and drop a quick save right here. And this is the first time this character has been to this location, so hopefully we'll be able to find a bunch of people. Hmm. So, I know that there's someone right there, so I can actually shoot this area here and hope that like some of my ricochets will get to that guy. And that's something that you kind of learn how to do. But this guy here, if you shoot on the ground, it'll slow him down a little bit if he hits that. Yeah, so this this electrical effect, this little field right here, will also slow them down. So it's good to use that if someone's running towards you pretty quickly. I actually learned that this weapon was pretty good against uh, Fallout 4's ghouls. New Austin does change ghouls quite a bit, so it probably won't be as effective. But for Fallout 4, it, it seems to do the job. So I don't know where this guy's shooting me from. Yeah, so again, we, we were able to get behind his cover just using the ricocheting bolts. This is making a lot of noise, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go up and around. And I only have two stim packs, so we have to be a little bit careful. So there may be points where I cut.
And mind you, I am playing on controller, so excuse the aiming. Easier to test out on controller than it is on keyboard and mouse, so. Well, I know you're up there somewhere. We're not going to focus on them up there, though. I kind of want to get inside to see how this weapon does inside. But I did take the long way. Now, if I... I can't remember. Is this actually open? I think it might be closed. Chains yeah, it is. Side. Is there one more over there, or is there both that? Okay, they both died. Let's go to that door. Because once we get inside, we might actually be a little safer with the ricocheting. Oh, I'm getting peppered. Alrighty, so now that we're inside, <clears throat> so now that we're inside, hopefully the ricochet might be a little better. Ooh, there you are. I'm actually surprised we didn't get followed in. Where are you? Ah, oh, there you are. Yes, yeah, so this weapon is a bit of a fire and forget, and you can kind of just clear out areas pretty quickly. Um, in New Austin, this is going to be a a little different, but oh my god. Not everyone talk all at once, can we? No. Where are you guys? Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? No idea where they are. So I know there's a turret. Oop, there's one. And there's one down there. A turret. I'm wondering if I can get that while we're up here. There we go. That turret would rip us to shreds otherwise. Oh my god. So we're probably going to die. And if I die, that'll be the end of this little section. But let's try to stay as alive as long as possible. Oh. Worst time to reload. Alrighty. Well, that is the new plasma. The new lightning plasma rifle. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, let us know how how it's doing. If it's a good weapon, if it's overpowered, if it's too much, let us know. If it's underpowered, if you want some changes, let us know as well. And in the meantime, bye bye.